crypto slow, cryptocurrency news and investing. Crypto slow with more crypto gains. What's going on guys? So I want to talk about runes a little bit. Just some thoughts. Thought number one, be sure you take some profits. At a minimum, moonbag. If you're in pre-runes, you know, personally, moonbag, take half off the table and then sit on half, you know, if you think it's gonna go to a billion dollar market cap or whatever. Now, as far as the technology goes, so far, I think, I think the reason runes in some, in some respects have failed is because it really is just a copy of BRC. Is perpetuated like a new start but technologically no one's really building or exposing the supposed improvements of runes so with that being said you know if there truly are big differences between runes and BRC20s you know just like I talked about in my video the other day to split your your rune up you have to send it yourself that's kind of the same thing as inscribe transfer it's like the same thing i want to sell a packet i inscribe transfer it breaks the packet so that's kind of the same so i think the most like what i'm keeping my eye on with runes i'm not participating in all this meme stuff you know i just i know a lot of people that have gotten wrecked on the fees I'm still a believer in some of the pre-rune prod products. Probably the one that sticks out the most to me is probably CyberConks. If anyone's gonna build something out of the gate, I think it might be them. So that's one to keep an eye on. I do have I do have a couple of the Prometheus CyberConks. Um, Long-term, I am bullish. I got them cheap, like 0 0.02 or something like that. So I'm not in a rush to sell those, you know. But as far as Arsic, you know, if you got a fat bag, you know, take some money off the table in my opinion. Um, Cause you know, you have the whole sell in May and go away. It could be a rough summer, you know. People cash checks, go to the Hamptons for the summer and shut their laptops. You know, I'm still bullish on crypto 100%. Like I said, I've always, I'm, my target is 2025 for the absolute crazy, crazy stuff. So, you know, it's all about holding those positions, not over trading. But anyways, back to the runes. So no one's really leveraged this supposed rune improvements. So I'm going to keep my eye open for builders. I think that some of the builders may be faded because people got stung with all the meme with all the meme rune stuff. So yeah. So the thoughts from this video today, take some profit. Don't be stupid. And you know, if you do, you can moon bag it. Um, I did that with my Merlin swap and oh my gosh, I sold it like a dollar forty two and now it's like eighty cents. So that was a smart move. <laughs> I'm not regretting that. So you know, that was a nice, nice little paycheck. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. I still have my gobs. Of all the pre-runes, gob is kind of underperforming. But I think some of it was because of how they did the claim process. Okay. People could claim gas was high. But, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of been a mess. So, yeah, my bag on gob, you know, it's just kind of like meh kind of capitulated so you know i didn't have a massive amount in it i'm probably break even at this point but you know just like a lot of the other projects like runestone once a snapshot happens people just sold so yeah they sold the actual you know the pre-rune that was generating the coins so think about some of that stuff hope you're having a great day happy hump day as always, like, subscribe to Crypto Slow if you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.